So this is Minarda didyma, also known as bee balm, um, Oswego tea. It has lots of common names, and it is in its full glory. If I was harvesting, that this is it. You look at the leaves, and these later in the summer will develop a a white fungal disease. You don't want to get them then. So the leaves are still beautiful. The flowers are beautiful. And one of my elders many years ago, I spent a summer with him and his father. And I probably told you this story in class at some point, but his father had been a midday priest, which is the sort of secret, very secretive uh, medicine society of the Menominee, uh, honest Naabeg people, and he, as a young man, he had been trained, started being trained as a Mide priest, so he's probably only first level, and then he converted to Christianity and eventually became a deacon in his church and, you know, lived his life, and then when I met him, he had just, re he was recovering from his seventh heart attack, and, uh, sacred number, by the way, and he had a vision that he needed to return to his traditional ways. And so I got to spend the summer with him, which was rather bittersweet because, uh, you know, we would walk around looking at plants and he would look at a plant and you could see he's kind of like, he'd go like, I used to know that, but you know, he had forgotten some things besides he'd been through seven heart attacks, but he still remembered a lot. And so he told me, and he was Menominee Potawatomi, and I don't speak Menominee Potawatomi, but in English, I don't remember the, the name in Menominee, but he said in English it translated to sacred seven because it had seven different uses. The reality is the plant has way more than seven uses. So this plant, number one, you know, it's aromatic. And so if you haven't had a chance before we move on, you know, just rub the leaf a little bit. Lovely, it's fragrant. So it's carminative, you know, the gas, the nausea, the vomiting, all that kind of stuff. Also useful for, you know, diarrhea, digestive upset. It has lots of essential oils. So because of that, it certainly has antibacterial activity for sure. Um, it also acts as a diaphoretic. So again, you have a fever, you drink a cup of this really hot. It makes you, your body temperature actually go up a little bit more. And then you sweat profusely, bringing the temperature down. Um, in addition to that, if you make a, uh, an infusion of this plant and cool it and use it for burns, it's pretty good. Uh, it's not as good as aloe with uh, uh, lavender essential oil, but it, it works pretty nicely. The plant is also a mild nervine used for things like stress headaches. It can be used as a gargle for sore throats. Um, it acts as a urinary tract antiseptic and anti-inflammatory. So for urinary simple cystitis, it can be quite nice. Um, so it's just a great medicine. And one of the things that my uncle used to always do is he would, you know, in his tradition, red is the sacred color color of success. So he would harvest these flowers and then in every formula he'd give somebody, he'd put seven of these flowers, the dried flowers in there, because red's the color of success and seven is being the sacred number, it would make it potentize the formula to make it work better.